Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, here's another. This is gonna be a quick video. And as I think of stuff, I'm still pushing for y'all, man. Y'all veterans, SSI, SSDI, people done worked 20, 30 years, retired pays, retired people, whatever, you know. I'm still pushing for y'all. I'm trying to use my platform to help help you guys reach out there, you know. I know his channel's bigger than mine, but I got some channels that's picking it up as well. Just top it. So here's the thing. Now, nobody's really talking about this right here, what I'm about to talk about. Now, the second stimulus package was the one that happened, I think it was in December, when the people received a $600 stimulus check. That package is what I'm talking about. Now, you mean tell me that even Donald Trump, Donald Trump, or even talking about how they want to send all this money overseas, right, over to foreign countries, but it couldn't even help the American people too much? You know what I'm saying? And they reflect back to what I'm about to talk about now. Is that you mean tell me they can send billions of dollars overseas? to other countries, and Donald Trump didn't even want to sign the second stimulus check bill. The reason why he didn't want to sign it because it was so much pork in that bill. It was sending so much money over there to the foreign countries and stuff. You know, he didn't even really want to sign the bill, but he just signed it because he know American people desperately need help. That's the only reason he signed the bill. All right, but they sent millions of wasteful spending. He called it wasteful spending overseas when they could have kept it over here and helped the American people. See, they sent it all overseas for what reason? In the middle of a crisis situation, they're going to send the money overseas. You know, now you mean tell me, <laughs> I got to get, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put my two cents in it. You mean tell me that they can send all this money overseas but yet, they can't get a veterans and senior citizens an extra $200 a month like they said they were going to do. You know, come on now. They gonna they can send all this money overseas now. Think about it. But yet, they can't help people on SSI, SSDI, and veterans, railroad, retirees, and stuff like that. You know, and another thing. Like I stated in previous video, they keep giving all this unemployment. And then the thing now, where this bill here is written, people can quit their job and claim that they scared of COVID. You know, they scared to go to work and still get an unemployment check. See, they say, oh, I'm scared. I might get sick. I Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll quit. So they can quit and draw unemployment the way this bill set up. You know what that's going to set up to? It's going to lead to. It's going to lead to a whole lot of fraud. You're going to have people who, <laughs> who worked on a job maybe four or five months or maybe three months quit just to get unemployment benefits because they claim they're scared they might get sick. But they know they ain't scared. They might get sick. They just going to quit because they know they can quit and draw unemployment. So I don't understand why they keep boosting this unemployment. It ain't doing nothing but deterring people from going to work, the ones that got to work. Now, if they take that away, people will actually go to work. If they take this boost away, people will actually go to work, man, you know. Just add a little bit of boost on it. They're already getting state benefits anyway. See, just put a hundred dollars on it. Boost them a hundred dollars. You know, let them go find work. Be quick milking them all that stuff. They'll go to work. Now, the point is, if they can boost an extra hundred dollars to unemployment, <laughs> come on now, and let's be reasonable. They can boost an extra hundred dollars a month to unemployment, they could have gave something to the veterans, 
they could have gave that two hundred dollars to SSI, SSDI, railroad retirees, and stuff like that. See, but they didn't care. But they could have did it. They done boost their unemployment from three hundred to four hundred. One time it was six hundred. Six hundred dollars a week for an unemployment boost on top of the state benefits. So that in the state of North Carolina, that equals out a thousand dollars a week is what some of those people were getting here in the state of North Carolina. You know, think about it. They was getting a thousand dollars a week and roughly now some of them is getting around seven hundred dollars a week here in the state of North Carolina because the state benefits is around close to four hundred dollars a week. Close to it. Then you boost with the three. That's for you know what I'm saying? Five, six, seven hundred dollars almost a week with that boost. Now they boost it up to an extra hundred. So they get eight hundred dollars a week to sit home and do nothing. Right? So you mean you tell me they can't get veterans an extra two hundred dollars a month for the pandemic? They get all that money for unemployment, you know. And they said they were gonna do it for the veterans. People fought for the country and stuff. They said they were going to do it. But where is it? You know, but yet they sent all this money over there in the foreign countries and stuff. You know, you know how many billions of dollars they sent over there in December? I think it was the bill passed, well, it was December. How many billions of dollars they sent to Pakistan? I think it was Pakistan somewhere. I think it was Pakistan they sent the money in. And they could have gave it to uh, veterans. <laughs> you know, it could get to uh, SSDI earlier, uh, senior citizens, you know, SSI, SSDI. You know what I'm saying? They they claim they was going to do it. It never happened. Democrats claim they're going to do it as soon as they took office. It never happened. It's not even mentioned in the bill. So I'm trying to let my voice be heard. Y'all share the video. I know some of y'all don't... Um, veterans that's watching. I know some of y'all done retired, you know, SSDI, done worked 20 and 25 years and stuff like that. And they ain't putting in nothing for y'all. You know, come on now. They ain't putting in nothing for people like that. And I'm still, I'm going to keep pushing for it. But yeah, they can kick all that money over in foreign countries. They can yet kick all that money to unemployment for people to fraud. You know, the state of California had 9 billion unemployment fraud cases. I mean, 9 million. 9 billion unemployment fraud cases in the state of California alone. And you mean to tell me they couldn't give the veterans and SSDI, SSI $200 a month, but they're going to let them fraud billions and billions of dollars? I just don't see it, man. It just don't make no sense. Y'all hit me in the comments. Democrats. <laughs> I just don't see it. I mean, they just lied all the way around. I'm out, man. Share this video. I'm still fighting for y'all. Peace.